So this past weekend, I went to see Jeff Beck. Actually, this was on Saturday night, so two days ago. And one of my really good friends is his front of house engineer. And uh, I was lucky enough to stop by and see the sound check before the show. And I've seen Jeff play probably three or four times in the past over the last 25 years or so. Jeff's now 78 years old. I've never made a video on Jeff Beck because, as I said in my interview with Eric Johnson, he had mentioned that the first solo he learned was Jeff Beck for Yardbirds, uh, I think with New York City Blues. I think that was the song. One of the first things I learned, New York City Blues by uh, the Yardbirds. Mm -hmm. I remember learning that. And when I was learning it, I was so young, I couldn't understand what Jeff Beck was doing. <laughs> and, oh, and, I still can't. And then, and then learning the Nazar Blue. And when you talk about the sound of the guitar being in the hands, his sound is completely in his hands. I was in the audience at the front of house, and then I was lucky enough to go and stand next to the monitors and watch from the side of the stage. You can't even tell what he's doing. It's really incredible. I'm gonna show some videos uh, here where you can see his right hand and left hand. One thing is he plays the most unique phrases of anyone I can think of. I have a, a really good friend, Harper, who said he went to see Jeff play in Alabama the other night, and he said he is one of one. And I thought that was the perfect description. He is one of one. No one sounds like Jeff Beck. And no one could, no one could sound like Jeff Beck. I went and was looking at Jeff Beck videos for Jeff Beck videos on YouTube, transcriptions, people just playing along with stuff. There's almost nothing. Why? Because he's uncopyable. You can't really copy Jeff. You'd have to spend your whole life trying to play like that. He plays the most beautifully interesting melodies. He never plays a bad note, but his uniqueness is just, it's almost impossible to talk about. So let's actually look and listen to his playing and I'll talk about it. The first tune I want to start with is Cause We've Ended As Lovers, which is off the Blow by Blow record, which came out in 1975, which was actually produced by George Martin. Here's Jeff with Vinnie Caliud on drums and Tal Wilkenfeld on, on the bass. Last time I saw them play together was a few years ago. I'm trying to think of when it was. Maybe it was five years ago or something. I saw them them play together as a group with a keyboardist, but, uh, but you'll see mainly in this you'll see the three of them. So let's just start this off here. Check out the whammy bar there. Just the, the odd way he holds his hand. He's going below the notes, above them, with the vibrato. plays a bad note. And every note, like I said, is a different volume. It has a different... Oh! Oh! That's sus to the, to the major third there. Beautiful, the space between phrases. Oh, beautiful Lydian line. Here's a solo. never plays the whammy bar in the same way either. He doesn't even use the same fingerings. You notice he uses pinky in that, then he went to his third finger. It's like 
human voice. never a bad phrase there's never it's just just flow i remember when i interviewed vinnie i always bring this back up um i've known vinnie since the mid 80s or so and my first question to him was vinnie tell me about flow and he said thought is the enemy of flow and vinnie as you can hear him back on the drums just flows and that's what jeff does this is just a flow of melody He's, there's never any question where he's going to play things. He's never fishing for notes or anything. Everything is spontaneous, yet it's so well constructed. Every idea just leads to the next idea. But the thing that's amazing, and, and the other person that's like this is Pat Metheny. Because Pat talked about this, about never playing notes the same volume. He's always playing into notes differently and he always is playing every notes dynamically differently and Jeff every note is dynamically differently every tone is different every attack is different it can be swelled into it can be attacked where you know where he'll attack it really hard and it'll have a lot more gain on it and it'll just jump out at you or the phrases will just move well I'll play it again listen you'll hear it There's never notes that just don't do anything. Every bend perfectly in tune. Oh. I love when he plays the sustained notes with them. With the whammy. He hits that low E on the C chord and pulls it down to a low C. Beautiful. And then he always is one to give credit to the other people that he's playing with. I did get to meet Jeff during soundcheck, or, or actually in between soundcheck and the show, he actually had walked back in, and um, I was introduced to him. And, I mean, it's, it's Jeff Beck. I mean, what a legend. I mean, it really blew me away. It really did. And he was so nice. I just said hello to him. But but it just kind of was like, uh, wow, this, that's Jeff Beck. And I've met a lot of well-known people, but this was just kind of blew my mind. I want to play a little bit of another song here to show you some other techniques that he does, some of the faster things he does, which is really great. <laughs> Notice how when he grabs his whammy bar, he grabs it differently each time, and he uses it, he's always using it differently. He does a quick tap on it. The thumb there. What is that? <laughs> and when I hear him play, I just start thinking of these players like Eddie Van Halen. The harmonics that he was doing the other night and, and the, the sounds like this. Oh. 
I was at the end of the bar there. See that? I can't even fathom how he's just improvising like that. It's really <laughs> unreal. To see it like this up close, it didn't matter. The other, you know, the other night, so this is from probably 10 years ago or so. And he sounds just as good at 78 years old. Those hands, you know, just what he's got in the hands and the, the sounds that he's able to pull out of the guitar, it's like nothing I've ever heard. And I heard him sound check. He came back in to try out a different amp. And it didn't matter if he was playing through a different amp. It's, he just sounded like him. And the other thing was during sound check, he never was messing around. It was all music. It could have been the gig. So he's he's doing sound check and he's playing and every phrase, every articulation, everything. It's just it that's what flows out of him. It's unbelievable. So this is my why Jeff Beck is uncopyable video and and uh love to hear your thoughts. I know there's a lot of huge Jeff Beck fans that follow this channel. Please let me know any personal stories or anything of seeing him. This is really incredible. Like I said, I've seen him, I think, four times in the last 25 years or so. And to see him now at this age, and he's as good as he ever was, just blew me away. Thanks so much for watching.